At 16, I started playing poker in school. And one thing we've always done with my family is to play a lot of card games. So that's something we've done on all vacations, all trips, all the time. And actually through card games, I fell in love with math quite early on. So I was really good at math and good at card games. And we started playing poker in, in school. And I, I won a lot in terms of what kind of money could be with just the friends in school. Mm. And then I turned 17 and I started playing online with a fake idea. Uh, and I started winning quite a lot. And at 18, as you mentioned, I won 1000 2000 4000 $8,000 a month. So it was obviously the best birthday gift I could have <laughs> <laughs> wished for, taking the company to the stock exchange and getting to ring this golden bell and open the wow. stock exchange. And yeah, I, I made a lot of money uh, that day. But the big thing it goes... I mean, our culture is obviously so much about money. Money is the, I like to look at money as, as a religion and the only religion that ever managed to capture more or less the entire planet and that everyone is actually actively pursuing on a daily basis. There is, there is nothing compared to that. And where I would say that advertising and and advertisement is is god where give or take an hour every day it, for all of our lives we are in connection with advertising mm. one way or another and advertising regardless of the product i would say have exactly the same uh, the same purpose or the same meaning underlying meaning behind it and it's, it's by this and you will feel better experience. What, where, what this, there is skills, what did they enjoy and see how can they go with it, with the joy of doing that. And another aspect of this is to, to just begin and get started with whatever it is that you want to do. It's, it's very easy to paint this grand picture and say, I want to take a company to the stock exchange. And then that's a really freaking scary picture because it would change everything in your life and it's so unattainable and so far away that it's just ridiculous. And instead saying, what's the smallest thing that I can do today and get started that I enjoy? Hmm. And hmm. school time in here was voluntary. So it was after school hours. It wasn't a part of the schedule. And the kids could come and learn, learn computers. And since it was voluntary, I didn't think many kids would come. And the class started at three in the afternoon and there was a line with a hundred kids hmm. outside wow. the, the school building. I was like, wow. And there were only 70 spots. So we had to reject 30 kids from, from going in there. Hmm. And I could just look at back of myself. Like I'm a person who is a deep need of that connection. And if that doesn't happen, it impacts everything around me and it permeates and it's, it, it hurts everything. And I can see all the mistakes I did in, in our relationship, going back to communication that I was passively aggressive about these things. Like I yeah. got grumpy, I got mad. I didn't talk about, it's not like I, so I went into soul searching land. I actually ended up breaking up with my girlfriend because we didn't manage to solve those issues. And for the last four years, I had just been working. So I hadn't really thought about our relationship. And then all of those problems that I'd just been distracting myself for, they were suddenly insanely real. <laughs> and I was so lost without her. We had been together for seven years and now I didn't know up from down. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know anything.